Hello! Today we're going to talk about cellular respiration. By the end of the video you should be able to answer the question, how does eating and breathing allow organisms to function? But first, an abbreviation notice. The term cellular respiration is very long so sometimes we will use cell resp instead or just CR. Let's summarize the cellular respiration reaction. The cellular respiration reaction starts with one glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules and ends with six CO2 molecules, six water molecules, and lots of energy in the form of ATP. But we can simplify this to sugar and oxygen gets turned into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Essentially, cellular respiration turns sugar into carbon dioxide to release energy in the form of ATP. So where does cellular respiration happen? It happens in the mitochondria in both plants and animals. Breathing and eating is important for getting the reactants to do cellular respiration. By inhaling air, we get oxygen, and by eating food, we get sugar. With these two things, cellular respiration can begin. Cellular respiration starts with oxygen and sugar entering the mitochondria. Here's oxygen, and here is sugar. After they enter the mitochondria, a series of chemical reactions will happen, and CO2, H2O, and energy in the form of ATP will come out. Here's CO2, H2O, and here's energy, which is what we really want from cellular respiration. So what do we do with the things we don't want? We exhale carbon dioxide into the air. As we breathe out, CO2 leaves our body and mixes with the air. Water leaves the body in multiple ways. Water exits the body as urine. Water leaves the body as moisture in our breath. That's why our breath fogs up glass. And water leaves the body as sweat. Finally, let's talk about how energy is used. Energy, in the form of ATP, is used to maintain all life functions. Organisms can use energy to move, grow, think, repair, or reproduce. Now you can answer the question, how does eating and breathing allow organisms to function? That's it for now. Till next time, bye.